The Drake Passage, a tumultuous stretch of water located between the southern tip of South America and the northern reaches of Antarctica, is renowned for being one of the most perilous sea routes on the planet. This narrow passage, infamous for its unpredictable weather, treacherous currents, and towering waves, has long been a formidable challenge for mariners, symbolizing the ultimate test of seafaring skill and endurance. Historical significance. The Drake Passage, named after the famed English explorer Sir Francis Drake, has played a pivotal role in maritime history, shaping the course of exploration and trade routes since its discovery. This strait, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, was first unintentionally navigated by Drake in 1578. During his circumnavigation of the globe, Drake was blown southward around Cape Horn and into the passage, revealing the existence of a southern route to the Pacific and challenging the then prevailing belief in a land connection between South America and Antarctica. The discovery of the Drake Passage was a turning point in maritime exploration. It offered an alternative to the perilous Strait of Magellan, which was narrower and more treacherous, making the passage a critical route for early explorers. The 17th and 18th centuries saw an increased interest in exploring the southern oceans, largely driven by the search for new trade routes and territories. The Drake Passage became a gateway for numerous expeditions, including those led by renowned explorers such as James Cook and Charles Darwin. Cook's voyages, in particular, were significant in mapping the region and disproving the existence of the mythical Terra Australis, a supposed large continent in the Southern Hemisphere. The passage also played a crucial role in the whaling and sealing industries of the 18th and 19th centuries. Ships from various nations braved its treacherous waters to reach the rich hunting grounds of the Antarctic and sub-Antarctic regions. The exploitation of these resources brought wealth and expansion, but also led to the near extinction of several species. The 20th century brought new challenges and changes to the Drake Passage. The opening of the Panama Canal in 1914 offered a safer and quicker route between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, reducing the commercial significance of the passage. However, its importance for scientific exploration and adventure tourism increased. The passage became a route for numerous Antarctic expeditions, contributing significantly to the scientific understanding of the region. It was through these perilous waters that Ernest Shackleton's ill-fated endurance expedition passed, marking one of the most remarkable survival stories in the history of exploration. In modern times, the Drake Passage continues to captivate the imagination of adventurers and scientists. It serves as a crucial conduit for oceanographic and climate research, providing valuable insights into global climate patterns and marine ecosystems. The passage's historical significance extends beyond its role in exploration and commerce. It stands as a testament to human endurance and the relentless quest for knowledge and discovery. The Drake Passage, with its daunting conditions and storied past, remains a symbol of the unyielding spirit of exploration that has driven humanity to venture beyond the horizon, seeking to unravel the mysteries of the natural world. Geographical Features The Drake Passage, spanning approximately 800 kilometers between the southern tip of South America, specifically Cape Horn, and the South Shetland Islands of Antarctica, is a body of water that has long been synonymous with treacherous maritime conditions. Its geographical features play a crucial role in creating the challenging environment for which it is notorious. At its core, the Drake Passage is a crucial juncture where the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Oceans converge, leading to a unique intermingling of waters. This confluence results in complex ocean currents that are both unpredictable and powerful. The most significant of these is the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the world's largest ocean current, which flows from west to east around Antarctica. This current is driven by strong westerly winds and is further intensified by the funneling effect of the narrow passage. 
It creates a turbulent maritime environment characterized by strong and irregular currents that can challenge even the most experienced navigators. The topography of the seafloor beneath the Drake Passage also contributes to its hazardous nature. The passage lies above the Scotia Sea, where the underwater Scotia Ridge and the South American Continental Shelf meet. This uneven and rugged ocean floor affects water flow, contributing to the turbulence of the surface waters. The shallow depths in certain areas of the passage can intensify wave conditions, leading to the formation of large and unpredictable waves. Furthermore, the Drake Passage is situated in a latitude known as the Furious Fifties, named for the latitudes between 50 and 60 degrees south, where the absence of significant land masses at these latitudes allows winds to circulate unimpeded around the globe. These powerful westerly winds often reaching gale force, whip up the ocean surface, creating daunting sea states that include towering waves and heavy swells. The passage's notorious waves, some reaching heights of up to 25 and meters during severe storms, present a formidable challenge to ships. Weather conditions in the Drake Passage are notoriously fickle and severe. The area is prone to rapid weather changes, with conditions shifting from calm to stormy within hours. The convergence of cold polar air from the south and warmer air from the north can lead to frequent storms, heavy fog, and icy conditions, further complicating navigation. These extreme weather patterns are not only a danger in themselves, but also severely limit visibility, adding an additional layer of risk for vessels. The passage's geographic location also contributes to its icy conditions. The proximity to Antarctica means that icebergs and sea ice are common hazards, especially during the southern winter and spring. These floating masses of ice, often difficult to detect, especially in rough seas or poor visibility, pose a significant threat to ships. Climate and Weather Patterns The climate and weather patterns of the Drake Passage are as formidable as its geographic features, contributing significantly to its reputation as a treacherous sea route. The passage lies in a unique climatic zone where multiple factors converge to create extreme and unpredictable weather conditions, which are a hallmark of this infamous stretch of water. One of the key climatic characteristics of the Drake Passage is its position within the Roaring Forties and Furious Fifties, latitudinal bands known for their strong westerly winds. These winds are caused by the temperature differential between the equator and the poles, and their strength is amplified by the Earth's rotation. The absence of significant land masses at these southern latitudes allows the winds to develop considerable force as they circulate around the globe. These powerful winds are a major factor in generating the passage's notoriously rough seas, creating large rolling waves that can pose a significant hazard to shipping. The Drake Passage is also at the convergence point of different oceanic and atmospheric conditions, which leads to frequent and rapid weather changes. The mixing of cold polar air from Antarctica with warmer air masses from the north results in a highly volatile weather system. This convergence can lead to sudden storms, with strong winds and heavy seas developing quickly and without much. Warning. The area is known for its low-pressure systems that can generate severe weather, including gale-force winds and towering waves. Temperature variations in the Drake Passage are another important aspect of its climate. The passage is generally cold, with temperatures often hovering around freezing, particularly in the southern winter months. However, there can be significant temperature fluctuations, which, when coupled with the high humidity and strong winds, can make conditions feel even colder. These cold temperatures contribute to the presence of icebergs and sea ice in and around the passage, particularly during the Antarctic winter and spring. The presence of ice further complicates navigation and adds to the risks faced by ships. Fog is another frequent and hazardous condition in the Drake Passage. The meeting of cold and warm air masses often results in the formation of thick fog, reducing visibility significantly. 
This is particularly dangerous in an area already known for its difficult navigational conditions and can severely hinder a ship's ability to detect icebergs and other vessels. Precipitation in the Drake Passage is also a factor, with the area experiencing high levels of rainfall and snowfall. This precipitation, combined with the strong winds and waves, can create extremely challenging conditions for vessels, affecting visibility and the stability of the ships. Navigational Challenges Navigating the Drake Passage presents a unique set of challenges, making it one of the most daunting tasks for mariners. The passage's notorious conditions, including its turbulent seas, unpredictable weather, and the presence of ice, create a complex and hazardous environment that demands the utmost skill and vigilance. One of the primary navigational challenges in the Drake Passage is dealing with its heavy seas and strong currents. The passage is dominated by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the largest ocean current, which, combined with strong westerly winds, creates large, unpredictable waves and heavy swells. These conditions can be perilous for ships, affecting their stability and maneuverability. Navigating through such rough seas requires expert seamanship, as the risk of capsizing or damage to the vessel is significantly increased. The rolling waves also make it difficult to maintain a steady course, and constant adjustments are necessary to ensure safe passage. The unpredictable weather of the Drake Passage adds another layer of complexity to navigation. Sudden storms with gale force winds can arise without much warning, severely impacting visibility and the ship's ability to maintain course. These conditions are not only physically challenging for the vessel, but also for the crew, who must remain vigilant and responsive to rapid changes in weather and sea state. Visibility is a constant concern in the Drake Passage. Frequent fog, heavy precipitation, and spray from large waves can significantly reduce visibility, making it difficult to spot hazards such as icebergs, other vessels, and land masses. The presence of icebergs, particularly during the Antarctic winter and spring, is a significant navigational hazard. These icebergs can be large and difficult to detect, especially in rough seas or poor visibility. Collisions with icebergs can cause severed damage to a ship, as famously exemplified by the sinking of the RMS Titanic in the North Atlantic. Another challenge in navigating the Drake Passage is the geographic remoteness of the area. The passage is far from major shipping routes and lacks nearby ports of refuge. This isolation means that assistance in case of an emergency is limited and often delayed. Therefore, ships must be well prepared and self-sufficient, carrying enough supplies and having the ability to address mechanical or medical emergencies independently. The unpredictable currents and the complex bathymetry of the sea floor add to the navigational difficulties. The varying depths and underwater features can affect the ship's handling, and navigating through these requires detailed knowledge of the passage's topography. Modern navigation technology, including GPS and advanced weather forecasting, has made traversing the Drake Passage safer. However, the reliance on technology also brings its challenges, as equipment failure or inaccuracies can lead to dangerous situations in such an unforgiving environment, maritime incidents and accidents. The Drake Passage has been the site of numerous maritime incidents and accidents, a testament to its dangerous conditions. These events range from early exploration mishaps to modern-day tragedies, each underscoring the perils of navigating this tumultuous stretch of water. One of the earliest recorded incidents in the Drake Passage was during Sir Francis Drake's circumnavigation of the globe in the 16th century. While Drake successfully navigated the passage, it was not without difficulty. His ship, the Golden Hind, endured severe storms and rough seas, highlighting the challenges of the region even during its first recorded crossing. In the centuries that followed, the passage claimed numerous vessels, many of which were part of the burgeoning sealing and whaling industries. 
In 1819, the Spanish ship San Telmo encountered a fierce storm in the Drake Passage and was presumed wrecked off the coast of Antarctica, with all 644. Aboard lost. This incident is one of the earliest known shipwrecks in Antarctic waters. The 20th century saw its share of disasters as well. In 1947, the Chilean naval ship Angamos disappeared in the Drake Passage with 239 people aboard. Despite extensive searches, no trace of the ship was ever found, leaving its fate a mystery and underscoring the unpredictable nature of the passage. The passage has also been the site of numerous near misses and dramatic rescues. In 2001, the Argentine naval vessel Bahia Paraíso ran aground near the Antarctic Peninsula after navigating through the Drake Passage. While there were no casualties, the incident resulted in a significant oil spill, causing environmental concerns. In more recent times, the increase in adventure tourism and scientific expeditions has led to new challenges. Cruise ships and research vessels now regularly traverse the passage, and while modern navigation technology has made these voyages safer, the risks remain. In 2007, the MS Explorer, a cruise ship, hit an iceberg in the Drake Passage and sank. The timely evacuation of all 154 passengers and crew avoided loss of life, but the incident was a stark reminder of the hazards of ice and the unforgiving nature of the passage. The Drake Passage is also known for its role in several high-profile rescue operations. In 2015, the Russian fishing vessel Sparta became stranded in the passage after hitting an iceberg. A complex international rescue operation was launched, with vessels braving the harsh conditions to bring the crew to safety. These incidents are just a few examples of the many that have occurred in the Drake Passage, each contributing to its reputation as one of the most challenging and dangerous maritime routes in the world. The history of these maritime accidents and incidents serves as a cautionary tale for those. Navigating the passage, reminding mariners of the respect and caution that this formidable stretch of water demands. Modern navigation and safety measures. Advancements in navigation and safety measures have significantly impacted the passage through the Drake Passage, transforming it from a dreaded route into a manageable, though still challenging, journey. These modern technologies and practices have enhanced the ability of mariners to navigate safely through this treacherous stretch of water. One of the key advancements in modern navigation is the widespread use of Global Positioning System GPS technology. GPS has revolutionized maritime navigation, allowing ships to determine their exact location with remarkable precision. This technology is particularly valuable in the Drake Passage, where traditional navigation landmarks are absent and the constantly changing conditions make accurate positioning crucial. GPS systems help ships avoid hazards like icebergs and navigate more efficiently, even in poor visibility or severe weather. Radar technology has also significantly improved safety in the Drake Passage. Modern radar systems provide detailed images of the surrounding area, allowing ships to detect other vessels, icebergs, and landmasses at a considerable distance, even in conditions of limited visibility. This early warning system is vital for avoiding collisions and navigating through ice-infested waters. Satellite communications have greatly enhanced the safety of vessels transiting the Drake Passage. In the past, ships could be out of contact for days or even weeks. Now, Satellite phones and internet allow for constant communication with the outside world. This connectivity ensures that ships can receive up-to-date weather forecasts, ice charts, and other crucial information, and can quickly call for assistance in case of an emergency. Ice navigation has become a specialized skill, and modern ships traversing the Drake Passage often include experienced ice navigators. These professionals are trained to read ice conditions and guide vessels safely through icy waters. This expertise is complemented by the use of ice-strengthened hulls in many of the vessels that travel these waters, providing an additional layer of safety against the threat of ice. Weather forecasting has seen significant improvements, with sophisticated models predicting weather patterns more accurately and further in advance.
These forecasts are crucial for planning safe passage through the Drake Passage, allowing ships to avoid the worst weather conditions and navigate around storms. Emergency preparedness has also improved. Modern ships are equipped with lifeboats, survival suits, and other emergency equipment that is more advanced and reliable than ever before. Crews undergo rigorous safety training, including cold water survival and evacuation drills, ensuring they are prepared for any eventuality. Environmental regulations have also impacted navigation in the Drake Passage. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, has established strict guidelines for ships operating in these sensitive waters, including regulations on waste disposal, fuel use, and interactions with wildlife. These rules not only protect the fragile Antarctic environment, but also promote safe and responsible navigation practices, environmental impact, and conservation efforts. The Drake Passage, a vital conduit between the Atlantic and Southern Oceans, is not only a challenging route for mariners, but also an area of significant environmental importance and vulnerability. The passage's unique ecosystem is facing various environmental challenges, prompting concerted conservation efforts to preserve its ecological integrity. One of the primary environmental concerns in the Drake Passage is the impact of climate change. As global temperatures rise, the polar regions are experiencing some of the most dramatic changes. In the Drake Passage, this manifests in the melting of sea ice and glaciers, which has far-reaching consequences for marine life. The reduction in sea ice affects the entire food chain, from tiny krill, which rely on ice for breeding and feeding, to larger predators like seals and whales. Moreover, the melting ice contributes to rising sea levels, which can have global implications. Another significant issue is the impact of human activity, particularly from the increase in maritime traffic and tourism. As more ships navigate the Drake Passage, the risk of oil spills and other forms of pollution rises. These pollutants can have devastating effects on the local wildlife and the pristine Antarctic environment. Additionally, the increase in human presence raises the risk of introducing non-native species, which can disrupt the delicate ecological balance of the region. Overfishing is a concern in the waters around the Draca Passage. The demand for fish and krill, a critical component of the Antarctic food web, has led to intensified fishing activities. If not managed sustainably, this could deplete fish stocks and disrupt the ecosystem, affecting not only the local species, but also the global marine population. In response to these challenges, several conservation efforts and initiatives have been implemented. The Antarctic Treaty System, an international agreement that governs Antarctica, plays a crucial role in the conservation of the Drake Passage. The treaty prohibits military activity, mineral mining, and nuclear testing in the region and promotes scientific cooperation and environmental protection. The Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, CCAMLR, is another key organization. It regulates fishing activities in the Southern Ocean, setting quotas and guidelines to ensure that fishing is sustainable and does not harm the ecosystem. CC Gambler's efforts are crucial in maintaining the balance of the Antarctic marine food web. Marine Protected Areas MPAs have been established in the region to protect critical habitats and biodiversity. These areas restrict human activities, allowing ecosystems to recover and thrive. The establishment of MPAs is a significant step in preserving the unique marine environment of the Drake Passage and surrounding areas. Additionally, there are stringent regulations for ships passing through the Drake Passage, aimed at minimizing environmental impacts. These include strict waste disposal rules, fuel standards to reduce pollution, and guidelines to prevent the introduction of non-native species. Scientific research plays a vital role in conservation efforts. Researchers study the impact of climate change, human activities, and other factors on the Drake Passage's ecosystem. This research is critical in understanding the changes taking place and informing policy decisions to mitigate environmental impacts. The Drake Passage in Popular Culture 
The Drake Passage, with its formidable reputation and dramatic natural setting, has captured the imagination of artists, writers, and filmmakers, featuring prominently in various forms of popular culture. Its representation in literature, film, and other media often reflects the awe, respect, and fear that it invokes in those who have experienced or envisioned its treacherous waters. In literature, the Drake Passage has been a backdrop for tales of adventure, survival, and exploration. It features in historical accounts of maritime voyages, such as those undertaken by the early explorers who first braved its waters. These accounts often highlight the passage's unpredictability and the courage and endurance of those who navigated it. In fiction, it provides a dramatic setting for novels and stories, often serving as a symbol of nature's power and the human spirit's resilience. The passage's daunting character is used to heighten tension and drama, creating a compelling narrative backdrop. The passage's influence extends to the realm of film and television, where it has been depicted in documentaries and feature films. Documentaries about the Drake Passage often focus on its natural beauty and ecological significance, highlighting the diverse wildlife and unique environmental conditions. These films also explore the human element, featuring stories of explorers, scientists, and adventurers who have undertaken the challenging journey through its waters. In feature films, the Drake Passage is often used as a setting for adventure and suspense, its perilous conditions providing a natural catalyst for dramatic storytelling. Music and art have also drawn inspiration from the Drake Passage. Composers have created works that evoke the passage's mood, from the tranquility of calm seas to the ferocity of a storm. These compositions often aim to capture the emotional experience of facing the vast and untamed ocean. In visual arts, the passage has been the subject of paintings and photographs, with artists attempting to convey its raw beauty and formidable power. The play of light on the water, the towering waves, and the diverse wildlife are frequent motifs, offering a visual representation of the passage's character. The Drake Passage also features in poetry, where its symbolic potential is fully realized. Poets have used it as a metaphor for life's journeys, the challenges we face, and the unknowns we encounter. The passage's natural elements, the wind, waves, and wildlife, serve as powerful metaphors for human emotions and experiences. In popular science and education, the Drake Passage is often discussed in the context of its ecological importance and the challenges of climate change. It serves as a case study in the interconnectedness of global ecosystems and the impact of human activity on the environment.